This is my desk. This is where I study, edit, stream, draw, eat, and watch TV. Basically, I live at my desk, but it has some issues. It's tiny, it's cluttered, and it's brutal with cables. So today, we're gonna be completely redoing it. Before we continue on, we have to thank today's sponsorship, me. Did you know that 60% of people who watch my YouTube videos aren't subscribed? What? what? That's crazy. Go subscribe, it's free, and I really appreciate it. Also, if you want to come talk to me, I stream on Twitch every week at twitch.com slash jackbird, so go follow me there. All right, guys, so for this project, I kind of had to put on my Bob the Builder hat. I was not expecting it to take me three days to complete, but it did. Anyways, so the first part of this whole process is basically just clearing off my whole entire desk. I'd argue that this was the most hardest and annoying part. Just because I have a lot of stuff on it, I create content. So this is my workspace and everything gets thrown on it. Also, not to mention there were so many cables that were just tangled within each other. So just removing all of that was probably the hardest part. I ended up getting it done though. After my room looked like Best Buy threw up all over it, I knew it was time for the next part putting my desk together. So I actually had this desk put together before, but I took it apart because when they were laying together, both desks were completely uneven and it really just bugged me. So I was like, nope, I'm gonna go with the one. But then I had this miraculous idea, this like epiphany, if you will. If I take a bracket, I could just merge both sides together and they would be level. Oh my gosh. So that's what I did. My dad basically took these two metal sheets we had out in the garage and drilled holes in them. And those were my brackets. You could pretty much just buy these at Home Depot if you wanted. So the first thing I did is is I put the brackets together on the desk and I marked the holes that I was gonna drill into it. I couldn't find the right drill bit to make a pilot hole, so I just kinda took a nail and a hammer and nailed that thing through. Then I took my screwdriver and I made a bigger hole with the pilot hole. Crazy, I know. And then I just kinda screwed everything together. This later would actually cause a problem that we'll address in like the next 30 seconds. Then I screwed on my legs. I used to have like six of these legs. I could not find them out in the garage anywhere. So we just went with the two I could find. I kind of put them in a place where I felt the most weight would be bared on the desk. So I think that this will work out fine. As I'm recording this video, my desk is completely set up and it works pretty well. But if you can, if you're gonna repeat this, I'd recommend putting on more than two legs on these desks. So as you can see in the video, the desks are not connected when I put them back on the stands. This is because when I tried to pick it up, they were bending and I was like, oh, this is definitely gonna break it. And break out like a huge chunk of the desk. So I remove one side of the bracket and I put that on there and then I laid the other desk on top of it. And what I'm doing is I'm just screwing it in. And what I did is I just attached it while the desks were put together and it worked out just fine, except I had to like hold it really weird. It was an awkward maneuver. <music> Next, I'm setting up this stuff so I can cable manage it later. They're basically these like runners that attach under the desk via 3M tape. I also got this power outlet because before I had like three extension cords plugged into each other and I was like, yeah, that's a fire hazard. So I just got this one and it's actually really useful. I just attached some 3M tape and I stuck it under my desk and it works beautifully. So I know a lot of you guys are gonna call what I'm about to do stupid, but it's okay because I would also call it very stupid. So I have a loft bed and I have these support beams under it. The problem is the desk isn't tiny enough to fit between the support beams. So I had this idea. I would cut out a notch so that it would fit perfectly. I couldn't find a saw anywhere in our garage. So then I had this idea like, oh, I would just use a kitchen knife. And honestly, it kind of started to work until I looked at it and it was getting really dull. And I was like, oh my gosh, my mom's gonna beat my butt. So I stopped that. And then my dad came home and he was like, oh, you can use this handheld saw. And I started doing it and that was a lot of work. And I was like, mm, what if I drill a hole in it to make it easier? That did not make it easier. So I just thought to myself, you know what? Maybe this could have a cool backstory. This is my childhood dream to always have a notch and a bunch of scratches in the corner of my desk. This is beautiful. This is amazing. So I kind of just left it there. <laughs> next few clips are basically me just cable managing everything 
well putting all the cables back where they're supposed to be plugged in and then i cable manage it honestly i did not do a very good job i think it's just because i have so much stuff i need on my desk like my camera my lights my switch all the stuff i use for streaming i don't think it's really possible for me to have a completely 100 percent cable managed desk but i got it pretty good i'm happy with how it looks on top just don't look at the bottom actually none of you guys are gonna ever see the bottom so it doesn't even really matter and i don't really care at the same time so it's okay The next thing I did is take all the stuff out of these drawers I had. I have a crap ton of art supplies and a crap ton of notebooks. I don't even know why, but they make these drawers really messy. So I took everything out, laid it on the floor, and I'm gonna organize it into what I want the drawers to be. I got these cute little bins to put stuff in from Amazon and they're actually really useful for my drawing and art supplies. So I really like them. And then after I organized it, I basically just put everything back, but in like a more organized order. You know what I mean? The last thing I had to do is just clean up what I did and decorate the desk. This was the fun part because I finally got to see it come together. Overall, I'm really happy with how it came out. It's a lot more functional for my art and content creation, and I'm super happy. If you're wondering about any of the products in this video, I will be making a desk tour sometime around next week, and I'll link everything in the description box. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like transformation videos, consider checking out this one that I made, where I clean my room. It will give you serious motivation.